Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking another look at how to copy a planner plan and keep that within your team. So by the end of the video you know how to do that. If you've watched our previous video you've seen that that wasn't available previously and now it's been updated so a quick short video to show you how to actually do what you want to do uh, in today's video. I'm Gavin from MeTime and we help companies with modern workplace transformations. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. We've got new videos on Teams coming out every Tuesday. If you need help with end user training then hit the free download link in the description below to get a sample deck that we use for training that goes along with our basic tutorial series on YouTube. If you need more help unlocking all the benefits of modern workplace in your organisation then make sure to book a call with us to find out about our new program that is live right now. So without further ado, let's go and have a quick look at copying a planner plan. Okay, so let's get and have a look. First of all, thanks to Mark Hanley who commented on our old video, which I'll link below which was copying and planner tasks limitations, which is where you couldn't do what you wanted to do in terms of copying an entire plan and keeping that in Teams because it used to create an entirely new Office 265 group for you and sort of got lost in the ether and created lots of other clutter. So he nudged me to update this video, which is what I'm doing right now. So if you're not seeing that other video, go and check that out first. But if you just want to know how to copy a plan, you suppose you don't really need to know what it was like before. So we're in the team, testing team for YouTube, and we have a plan that we create from the team that we pinned using the add tab button. And say we wanted to create this as a template. So we might have um, a few different things we want to create a template with. So we might have some different buckets. Let's uh, duplicate the task. So whatever you want to set up your template or however you've got a planner, maybe you've got a project and um, that you always want to follow the same things through, but you don't want to keep creating tasks like that all the time. Because the only thing you could do before really and keep it all in one place was copy a task um, from one place to another. Now we're going to copy that entire plan. So we're just going to go into edge. Uh, into the waffle menu and click planner. If you can't see it there, it's all apps and then planner. And make sure that we're in our planner hub. So either from the hub, if it's appearing there as a recent plan or all plans, you can then click on the three dots next to your plan and simple as skipping copy plan. And then this is the bit that was new. So we're gonna call it, just gonna leave it as copy of test meeting action so we know which one's watch. Um, select a group for it to be in. So that's the bit that was missing. It just created its own random group with a long string of stuff. And you can include anything that you want from your uh, plan that you're copying. We're gonna copy that plan. So it's copying now and it'll appear in recent plans. It takes a while actually, even though that's only got, only got two um, tasks in it. Anyway, it's copied now. And you can see we've got bucket one, template task one, and bucket one, template task one. It has resurfaced an old action that we'd already completed. So I guess that's one thing to bear in mind when you're copying. And then if we wanted that to show up in a team, I guess anywhere that we were in the team, if we had a new channel, you can just click the plus button, go to planner, and then go and use an existing plan from this team and click our copy plan and save. So I don't think you can copy it from Teams right now, but I guess you don't uh, need to do that. Um, if you do need to jump out into the planner to go and do that copying. But then once it's copied, you can go and pin it back into Teams anyway. So very quick update to our last video. If this was more helpful than the last one, you need to make sure this has got more likes than the last one so other people can find it as well. So if this was more useful than the one that doesn't work, which presumably it will be more useful, please remember to give the video a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, 
got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday, so make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you need help with any of your training, remember to click the free download link below. And if you need more help unlocking all the benefits of Microsoft 365 Modern Workplace in your organization, make sure you schedule a call with us to see how we can help. Thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you in the next video.